the duration of exercise so for the first 30 to 60 minutes of moderate or high intensity exercise the muscular and hepatic glycogen becomes the primary muscle fuel thereafter the glycogen stores begin to decrease and muscle increasingly obtains the energy from fatty acids and plasmatic glucose following this is when the most significant changes in the blood glucose levels are observed Another important factor could be intensity. So glucose is the most preferred muscle fuel for exercise performed at a moderate or high intensity whereas low intensity exercise uses fatty acids as an energy source. So low intensity activities such as walking may have minimal effect on the blood sugars whereas high intensity activities such as running could cause a stronger and faster blood glucose lowering effect. Another important factor is frequency. Hypoglycemic effects, especially after exercise, increase after several consecutive days of physical exercise. In this situation, since it's virtually impossible to recover of the glycogen stores from one day to another, the body is not able to use the mechanism of hepatic glyconeogenesis to regulate the blood glucose levels.